it is cold outside which is odd for here in Southern California we had freeze warnings hard freeze warnings last night and there are freeze warnings again tonight this is baking weather and what I want to do because I haven't done a lot of these I've done very few I want to do another quick bread I know on my website I have a banana cornbread and there might be something else on there I need to do more quick breads I found this recipe that fascinated me because it's made with coffee and I happen to really like coffee this is a coffee date bread looks pretty easy to make I made a few adjustments to it let's get into making this coffee date bread I am in the meantime heating my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit that is 177 degrees Celsius if you've seen my other videos you'll notice something different I had my wooden countertop covered with Corian. I got a really, really good deal on it. This, this is a, a $1,000 countertop. I got it for $200. That's why I bought it. Okay, I have one cup here, which is about five ounces, 142 grams of dates that have been pitted and chopped. If you're using large dates like I did, medjool dates, it's about nine to 10 large dates. More if you're using smaller dates. I'm putting these in a heat proof bowl and then what I have here is one cup 237 milliliters of strong coffee that I've been heating to boiling and this is why I put my dates in a heat proof bowl I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to set this aside while I work with my other ingredients in a medium bowl I'm going to combine two tablespoons of butter this is just regular whole butter that is at room temperature you can see how soft that is and then I have one cup packed which is 210 grams of brown sugar I'm using dark brown sugar because I have it this is one of the adjustments I made the original recipe called for white sugar but I thought white sugar with dates and coffee no brown sugar would taste better and then I have one large egg And I'm going to combine this until this is all mixed together. All right, you see how nicely that's combined. Now I want to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I keep mine in a dropper bottle. I know each one of these droppers is a quarter of a teaspoon. So there's four going in. That's one teaspoon. And then I want to blend this in and then I can set this bowl aside and work with the dry ingredients. In a larger bowl now, I'm going to be combining one and a half cups of flour. That's about seven and a half ounces by weight, 213 grams. Again, that's all purpose flour. I have one half teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm going to combine these. If you're wondering what the difference is between baking soda and baking powder, baking powder is baking soda with an acid added, like cream of tartar. In this case, I don't need baking soda. I don't need baking powder, rather, because the coffee and the dates will provide the acid that the soda will work with for leavening. Now I'm going to add my sugar, butter, egg mixture in there. like so huh, I just like the looks of this I like the color this is telling me that I'm gonna have a nice batter and then this is my coffee and dates and then I want to mix all this together and blend this together till it's fairly evenly blended Okay, this is supposed to be a batter, but I have my doubts. This is more like a soup. It seems very wet, but I'm going to go with it. Now, finally, I have one cup. By weight, this is four ounces, 113 grams of chopped pecans. I roasted these actually last night for 10 minutes in a 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 191 Celsius oven because I like the flavor of roasted pecans rather than raw pecans. I'm just going to fold these in. I have a loaf pan here or a baking dish. 
that it's a little bit longer than required. They wanted four inches, which is about 10 centimeters in width and eight inches or 20 centimeters in length. This is a little bit longer, but I'm thinking with the amount of batter I have, this should be okay. I did grease this and then I lined it with a piece of parchment paper. I greased it with butter, whatever you want to use. You can use oil. Some people use oil. Some people use shortening. I just put butter in there. And the directions said to put the parchment paper in the bottom. I actually went side, bottom, side. I thought it might make it easier to lift out. Now, this is ready to go into the oven. As I mentioned, it's 300. 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 177 degrees Celsius. I'm going to bake this for 60 minutes. When it's done, the top should spring back when pressed lightly. Here is my bread out of the oven. This was in there for one hour. I cook by temperature. I want to see an internal temperature that's close to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 93 degrees Celsius. This is just about there. It's about 198. I'm going to let this cool for about 10 minutes in the pan or dish, and then I'll transfer it onto that rack and let it finish cooling. But isn't that a beautiful color? Look at that. A nice dark bread, which I figured it would be because of the coffee and the dark brown sugar. Okay, this should be cool enough now. I can handle it. And I can see it separating already. Look at that. How nicely that's coming out. So I'm going to slide that off of there. Peel this back. And there is my bread. Doesn't that look good? I need to let that cool thoroughly and then I'll be able to slice it and see how good it tastes. I'm ready to cut into this now and see what I got. Crisp on the outside. Ah, oh, look how that looks. With the pecans in there and the dates. That is a beautiful bread. All right, now I want to show you my favorite way of eating bread like this. How I like to eat bread like this is get a slice. And rather than putting butter on it, this is cream cheese. I like to put softened cream cheese on there. That to me is the ideal way to eat many of these breads. All right, I got to see how that tastes. It feels tender in my hand. Yeah. I don't know how to describe that. It's not overly sweet. You can't taste the coffee, but the coffee gives it something so that you know something is there. But it doesn't announce itself. Hi, I'm coffee. And speaking of coffee, I made a cup of coffee for myself, so I'm going to go enjoy my afternoon snack. For a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step-by-step -step photographs, visit my website, mobilehomegourmet.com, and look on the home page or in the recipe archive.